Geek Dad Life presents Toy Geeks, a live toy talk show. Tonight we're going to talk about some of that new footage possibly showing Target employees scalping the very popular NECA TMNT Turtles in Disguise set. We'll also talk about some of the latest toy news as well as our latest toy hauls. All of that and more tonight on Toy Geeks. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Toy Geeks. My name is Jay, and with me, as always, Sundays at 9 p.m., my good friend, John. John, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. How are you, Jay? Doing well. It is Sunday night. It has been a minute since you and I have, have done this thing live on a Sunday. We did uh, Friday last week for the uh, Hasbro PulseCon post-live show. There's a lot of plosives in that sentence. Uh, and uh, before that, it was Easter, so we like pre-recorded our show. Mm -hmm. So it has been like three weeks since we've done a true blue live Sunday night toy geeks, and the chat is, uh, as the kids say, lit right now. A lot of people are talking. Uh, Retro Zone is here. How about that new Ghostbuster cereal? Well, let me just tell you. Maybe I'll talk about it in toy halls, but it's not really a toy, but I'll maybe I'll talk about it there. But I got some updates on that Ghostbuster cereal, Searle. <laughs> so, uh, Kaggle's in the house. Uh, we will talk about the new Buzzsaw Hordak pictures. Gamaliel is here. Tree Shaker's in the house. Adam Smedberg. Uh, Dartherian is here. Uh, let's see. Luis, all music fan in the house. Free Rain, we're back. Indeed, we are back. Free Rain. Uh, let's see who else is here. T Ponder, uh, Stump John. We have not done a Stump John in a minute. Maybe we'll do a Stump John today if we have time. Todd Smith is in the house. Uh, Transeron 38. I think that's a new person. Welcome to the show. Uh, Jacob Baranowski. What are they scalping? We'll talk about it today. Uh, Dave Chambers is here. Nagiro, Justin. Holy moly, a lot of people uh, in the house uh, tonight <laughs> excited uh, to be talking toys with all of you and, and you, John. But, John, how has it been uh, since last we spoke? It's It's been pretty good. It's, uh, you know, we'll get to that in the halls. Uh, perfect. Doing a, yeah. doing a we got some good halls this week. Spoil though. that. Uh, it was spoiled a little bit in the video to start the show. Um, but I get my second vaccine shot tomorrow. Uh, and you, I told you right before I came on, like, so in a couple of weeks, I'll be able to like travel and do things again. Yes. What am I going to do with like th th this, you know, a, a possible immunity to COVID? And I was like, you know what? Really? The thing I might be most excited about is setting up at a toy show again. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely, I have missed like conventions and toy shows and I've done the local ones here. like gone in early in the morning, kind of got out before the crowds got there. Uh, so, uh, I think the next one is in June in Raleigh. Uh, so I will be setting up for the first time in over a year. So really pumped about that. Uh, and I, and I hope, uh, uh I don't know. I, I, I don't know. You're kind of, uh, isolated over there, but are you going to set up at the toy show? You're still going to wait it out. Um, June, probably not. Well, June, probably definitely not. not. Okay. Um, right. June is a turning into really busy for me. So I'm not even going to commit to the toy show. But so I'll, after that, September. I'll, uh, you know what I'll do is I'll live stream from the whole toy show. You know, one of these times when we're both at a toy show again, we'll have to do a live stream of this, like from a toy show. Yes. Or something. Yes. That'd be fun. It would be awesome. Like at a convention or something, maybe a local convention. That'd be yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, anyway. All right. So uh, main topic tonight. Do you do you want to do like main topic first and then get into toy halls and kind of do everything else? What do you think about? Yeah, that? yeah, sure. Yeah, because main topic seems to what drags us, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because and then toy halls, they have like an ending because we're done. Yes, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> A lot of people are here already in the chat. So definitely want to get us uh, back into the swing of things here. Uh, let's see. Great to see you guys back live on Sunday. Agreed. Nelson agreed. Um uh, I'm hoping to find a Keldor Kronos 2 pack as it was released today, but prices are up to $300 on Evil Bay. Uh, yes. Um, crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, well, let's get into it. Uh, top, top of the top of our news today is uh, this video. There was two things. Uh, one, 
Uh, this was on Total Toy Recon on Instagram. Uh, and somebody just straight up from the car listed the Turtles in Disguise set for two ninety five. What's the retail on the Turtles in Disguise set? Is it is it one is it one hundred bucks? Or is um, it dollars set? I'm not sure. I I would figure around there. Um, so two ninety five. So what three hundred percent of of that? Uh, this one called out how this I guess Target employee was driving a, a Jaguar as it's pronounced <laughs> uh, in its mother tongue. But but it has the red and khaki of a Target employee. <laughs> uh what what are your thoughts here do you think this uh, uh so i uh, see 99 dollars, 125 bucks um so a pretty pretty decent markup i mean you think ebay fees there if he's listing 295 say it sells for 295 how much is this person going to take home john do you think ballpark well depending on shipping or whatever True. but say they'll have 30 bucks in fees mm-hmm so the what's that 265 yeah they paid a hundred mm-hmm. so they might make depending on shipping maybe they'll make 150 bucks okay. okay that's pretty good what are they making at target you know yeah it's true it's very true um uh and i guess a lot of people are kind of bent out of shape that uh, it was in a jacket but this is where i will say i'll put a little grain i don't want to say skepticism but mm-hmm. you don't know maybe they just like khakis and red shirts <laughs> red shirts yeah Maybe. maybe maybe he drives like a Civic and replaced his steering wheel with a Jaguar steering well, wheel. It has, <laughs> <laughs> it has a little, little uh, screen there. Yes. They use Jaguar. Used expensive cars are usually significantly cheaper. Um, mm-hmm. You know what? It could be the manager of Target. You're right. The managers make good money. Yep. Managers at Target will make one hundred fifty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, depends on on you know what level and what city they're in. But they can make good yep. money there. And nobody's going to tell the manager, no, you can't buy six turtle sets. Yeah. He's the manager. It's true. It's true. I, I, that's, a, that's a theory I didn't, <laughs> didn't think about. Uh, Unagi roll, I love my Jag Civic. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. Uh, his discount from Target. <laughs> that's true. I guess a Target employee might get a discount on these, maybe an employee discount. But still, say ballpark, he's making $150 a pop. Uh, mm-hmm. on that say he gets all two or three i think it's three in a shipper case seemingly so say he gets all three you know that's an easy 450 that's 450 uh, bucks right? yeah um uh so uh yeah um otis bulldog says just ridiculous they should stop uh just put enough out so we could buy them stop scalping uh yeah you know i th- well, well we'll get into a little bit later like maybe what w- w- at the close is like what are the solutions here to uh potential well one there's scalpers in general or just people that, that are resellers i'm not going to beat people up for that too but i think what's tough about or makes it even tougher when it's a target employee it's like you're not even letting the public get a chance mm-hmm. to get a to get a swipe at it um <laughs> branson Reagan, jake from state farm it could be jake from state farm i didn't think about that <laughs> um uh, Justin, uh, Justin says people are speculating this has been going on for a long time. I know, and the speculation has been there. And the, and and again, I have befriended quite a few Target employees in the Raleigh Durham area, and most of them are really cool. You know, if they know there's a really hot toy, they'll hold it and make sure people can't just they'll they'll just put one out at a time um, mm-hmm. to make sure it's not just taken all out in one fell swoop. Um, so I, I do know that it is not the case everywhere. Um, but it seems like maybe more and more it's it's pushing into this territory. Old school's in the house. Good to see old school. Um, so yeah, so this one, it's hard to verify one way or another if it is a target employee. But if you take all, I guess, the circumstantial mm-hmm. evidence, yeah, it, it's leaning that way. <laughs> it's a target exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> guys wearing khakis and a red shirt. And I like the manager theory. Uh fish topic. Tropic manager discount. Yeah, manager discount. Maybe he's, maybe he's getting $200 a pop on these. Yep. Who knows? Who knows? Um, Adam says, they only came three to a case and stores are just getting in one case for now. Only know because I caught NECA rep putting them out. Yes, again, we're going to watch this video uh, that somebody posted up on YouTube where you can see that the NECA rep was putting out three uh, of these. Um, and uh, Old School Shinobi, so many companies do limited releases and getting a little tired of it. Vinyl and Blu-ray companies do this too. 
Um, PD Dubs, I resell sometimes. I'm not going to say there's no way this is a target employee, but even if it is, uh, it's not like nobody is finding these sets in the wild. Uh, Retro Dan 81, it's 2 a.m. over here, but I'm staying up to watch this. Well, thank you, Retro <laughs> Dan. You. Hopefully, it is, uh, yeah. hopefully, we're worth it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> uh, Phoenix Richardson says, I asked an employee for a corporate item figure and got locked in a broom closet. That was two months ago. <laughs> Phoenix, that's where you've been, Phoenix. I haven't seen, yeah, it's been about two months. The story checks out. You missed uh, a lot in two months. It's, it's lots, <laughs> lots happened, Phoenix. We'll, we'll catch you up. Uh, <laughs> a little, little bad baby's got, yeah, I mean, so. Anyway, that was the first thing here. Uh, and then a couple, was it how many days ago? When, this was, when was this posted? This is April 15th. So this is three days ago. Um, the YouTube channel, definitely check out. I'll, I'll post the link in the description below. Those toy junkies. Um, and what's kind of neat is they're kind of new toy hunters and stuff like that. So definitely give their channel a subscribe um, and check them out and check out this video. Uh, but what they caught, and again, like if I do a video, it's like very much, I, I don't live capture everything. But what they were able to hear uh, was basically uh, they walk up to the classic NECA section. And this is the NECA rep who was going to put these out, but then started giving them to this target employee. Huh. And so the person comes up and asks for one. And the NECA rep gives the person one. Uh, they talk to the dog. Uh, these toy junkies gives them one. But then the target employee takes the other two. Mm -hmm. So now, again, I'll play a little bit of skeptic here. Maybe they were going to put them in the back. And then we do one at a time. <laughs> that looks pretty clear. Like he's taking them away. Like yeah. not even out of barely the shipper boxes are still there. So the box is right there. He just took them out and target employees. Boom. Gone. As the store is opening. Um, that one, this video. To me, is clear as day is just like somebody taking them and walking away with them. Yeah. That that employee just knows the day and time that the the rep comes in. They mm -hmm. just wait by the door, mm -hmm. waiting for them to walk through with a new merch. Yep. yep. As soon as they're punched out, they get in their car, take pictures, list them on eBay. Yep. And and that's the frustrating thing, especially with just how uh, NECA does their um, uh, their setups at these stores. Mm -hmm. Is that while uh, target employees can't just put them out like they can have them sitting in the back and uh nothing they can do they can't sell them or anything the necker has to come out and put them out uh in yep. the, that little to collector toy section and this is where it goes beyond just a normal toy reseller ever going and finding it and, and selling it online or whatever or maybe even somebody like if you're just seeing it and you and you buy it or whatever like whatever i'm not gonna we've all we've all had a like we've all sold things uh for mm -hmm. more than a lot for it but where I think this is this is where it kind of crosses the line is you mentioned it. This target employee is going to have inside information that no public person is going to have. They're going to know when this NECA rep is going to show up because uh, they kind of they can maybe have maybe the schedule's there. Maybe they have that information uh, because for everyone else that tries to toy hunt, especially these NECA turtles, um, there's no rhyme or reason. There's no really cadence to these NECA reps and when they're putting this stuff out mm -hmm. and. Uh, and when you have a really hot item like this one, um, they're just getting them before anybody else can can pick them up. Yeah. And I wonder, you know, the all the reps for for NECA, I assume they're the same ones that that um, do Walmart as well. Probably. You know, I wonder if, you know, their supervisors at NECA or wherever this, you know, wherever they stem from. Mm -hmm. if they're told like in advance there's going to be this next hot item like be prepared as soon as you take it out they're going to want to jump on it mm -hmm. like does does NECA give them their reps you know uh, a leg up like this is what's going to happen mm -hmm. as soon as you put those out yeah but and and to me like for this NECA rep like why just hand them straight to the target employee like it should be like a sorry dude you you shouldn't be buying these yeah like 
at, at least, you know, he like the, the rep should tell them at least, you know, don't make it so obvious. Don't yeah. sit here waiting. Like yeah. go get a bottle of water or something yeah. and come back. And then what yeah. are, if this other guy beat you to him too bad. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Jacob, maybe the target employee was shopping for drive a pickup, you know, shopping for guests. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh maybe they're gonna sell them to geek dad life no they they didn't because i don't have it <laughs> <laughs> I, you know i I'd, I'd like it i'd like to get it but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna kill myself trying to find it i'm just not gonna mm -hmm. uh, uh not gonna not gonna stress myself out to spend over 100 bucks um praise chop it first come first serve absolutely absolutely um tree shaker dan larson has a great saying if you see one grab it if you see two leave one for the next collector where's it yeah, absolutely mm -hmm. uh, and and it's a great saying um and you know and and again i i'm not ever gonna be anybody up you know like if, if that's what you gotta do or if that's you know if you're there first and you see it and you can do whatever you want but to me i think where this crosses the line it's really frustrating people and again this has been uh, kind of an undercurrent of people saying or claiming it for a while that mm -hmm. no, they're not even getting a chance to get him because target employees aren't even putting them out. And again, that this isn't all target employees because I I have met and have befriended ones uh, that do not do this, um, mm -hmm. and uh, so I know that isn't the case for all. But this is a case where this one clearly is. And depending on where you are, if this is the case and you're a collector trying to find these things, um, you're not even getting it. You're not even getting a slim margin of a chance. No. No, this this takes one hundred percent chance away from the average, you know, the average non-target employee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now you roll to play devil's advocate. Maybe the employee is a collector and has a collector friend too. I usually buy two of each exclusive because a buddy of mine is also on the hunt. Maybe, maybe, but I think why I, I have to just again, if this employee is using inside information. <laughs> Like that to me is taking advantage of of the situation. Mm -hmm. um, it's like it's like insider trading, kind of like yeah, sure you maybe want to buy the stock, but if you work for the company and you have like inside information <laughs> to buy the stock, it's not really ethical. But you know, to each his own. If you're going to do it, go for it. Uh, let's see, it's Garage Gaming. Maybe he's a disgruntled Hasbro Pulse employee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jacob, uh, I work Target. Yeah, I, listen again. I've met many fantastic, really kind target employees, especially in the toy section. So I, I'm not painting the brush that this is happening at every single target. There's a bajillion targets out there. Um, I would just say there should be some type of policies, like especially this looks bad for NECA if it's a NECA rep handing these over. Mm -hmm. is, like for NECA, they need to figure out a way to kind of better oversee this or or something or when they're talking to target when they're making these deals they've clearly made a deal with target where they're going to have their own section and have it set up by their own reps so clearly they have some type of poll with target and walmart because they have these collector sections that are stocked by their own people mm -hmm. so they have to have some kind of poll so there has to be some kind of thing saying you know for employees that has to be off the clock um and they can't, you know, look at the schedule ahead of time and just be there when the rep is there. That kind of stuff. That's that's mm -hmm. what I would say. Like again, you're not, you're never gonna, you're never gonna fix it across the board. Um, but just maybe a couple extra steps here, especially with this video. Um, again, that uh, the those toy junkies posted on their YouTube channel. You know, I hope that uh, the folks at NECA have seen this. I know they were tagged in on a bunch of Instagram posts and stuff like that. So I, I would assume their customer service department or whomever has seen this. And I would hope that they're using this actual footage as like, okay, we need to like, no, that's going to be perfect. But let's keep getting better and better mm -hmm. uh, each time uh, with these releases. Uh, because, you know, on the whole, most of their stuff gets out there and, and it's not really scalper haven. But the NECA turtle stuff, man, like it just... It's nuts. Yep. Everybody wants it right away. That's that's really the only thing that drives it. Mm -hmm. You know, wait a wait a little bit and see. You know, see how easier it is to find on on eBay and how much cheaper it is. 
You know what? Uh, I was at Walmart a week ago. Uh, was I with Colleen when she was getting her shot? Anyways, I was at a Walmart. And lo and behold, the, the, the crappy Walmart on Glenwood. So it wasn't getting a shot. I was there for something. <laughs> they had the uh, Casey Jones, Raphael in disguise two pack. Really? Yeah. Still? Uh, it must. They, I think been re, like put, putting out more, like re-releasing them or more r- runs of it. But it was just sitting right there. I was like, "Oh wow, okay, cool." Uh, <laughs> I, I already have it, so like, I'll, I'll make sure I'll leave it here, and hopefully, somebody else that needs it will be able to pick it up. Um, so again, hopefully, it the way I think you saw for it is to your point, John. Just keep making them. Um, yeah, and and it'll eventually level itself out. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, hopefully it will. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see here. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lola Pap says, I don't think NECA will care about what we all witnessed because they're a billion dollar company. I disagree. Um, you know, I, I've worked for corporations, big ones. I've worked for Apple. I've worked for Google. I've worked for startups. Um, and they all take this stuff very seriously because in terms of brand management, you don't, things that can negatively affect your brand are a big deal, even mm-hmm. for a billion dollar corporation. So, yeah. uh, I absolutely believe they're taking it seriously mm-hmm. um, uh pd dubs agrees that will most likely address this they've been pretty responsive to scalping lately because i think there's just a lot of there's the, the public sentiment from toy collectors is uh we're sick of this we're over it and and if you if that reputation continues eventually you get to the quote-unquote killing the land uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> threshold and uh and then basically the whole thing kind of falls in on itself like a house of cards yeah yeah, they they need to stay on top of this. Mm-hmm. They're they're not a company like Hasbro where they have lines that support them that are outside of the collector sector. Yeah, NECA's brand is one hundred percent based on collectors. Mm-hmm. If they lose their collectors, they lose everything. There's no, they're not producing anything else that you know isn't for us. Yeah, you know, they're not producing little kids' toys or Hot Wheels or anything like that. Like yeah. NECA needs to address this because. Without us, there's no them. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and uh, let's see, just kind of going through here. <laughs> Brad Brooks, Glenwood Walmart, the most rich guy who's coming. <laughs> you you didn't you didn't get your shot there, but you might get shot there. <laughs> I think it's just not, it's not necessarily a bad part of town or mm-hmm. it's just, no. oh, it's, I think. There's something about just Walmarts, man, and you just get those the the non super Walmart. I mean, all Walmarts are kind of depressing, but that one specifically is just it's, it's got bad. It's got bad vibes. It's got bad <laughs> mojo there. Um, <laughs> uh, kind of going through here. Um, uh, PD Dubs. I found all four Naked Turtles in the Shredder Splinter two pack very easily at my local Walmart. Again, yeah, most of them have been pretty easy. I think I have found. Just about every set eventually uh, at one of my targets as well. Um, and again, I think the case here is this first run of them. Uh, it's only been um, three uh, that have been hitting the stores. So my hope is, in most cases, more come out or more arrive. And so for anybody right now that is frustrated that they're not able to find these scalper and disguise four packs... I highly doubt that this is the only shipment these stores are going to get. It would be it would be insane. Like this is your turtles. This is this is as bread and butter, meat and potatoes as it gets. Right? There's no way yeah. they're not going to like they've only made two of these things. No. And chances are if you don't find it in a four pack, they're going to come out with two two packs. Mhm. Um, Nightmare also calls out something here. NEC has been doing several TMNT related pre-orders on their web store. Yes, they have, which is good. Um, and I think that does help. Um, and uh, let's see, Nelson, you think both of them will get fired for this video servicing? You know, I, I, I'm I, against, I, I don't want anybody to lose their job over this. I think hopefully it's a learn and it's, if, if anything, a slap on the wrist kind of thing. Just hate to do this again. Because um, I, I hate for anyone to lose their job over buying a toy. Um, but again, I, I, I'm not these companies. I'm not, I'm not their, their empl- employers. Um, Riley, Bob, my target has only had Splinter and Baxter. And once I've seen the turtles at Walmart, never anything else. I don't understand NECA's need to want to limit product. 
Um, I don't know. If, do you think it's a need to want to limit product? Like, is demand that far greater than what they're producing? And is it a miss on um, their production levels? Because for NECA, is it better for them to always be sold out or to have a, a bit of extra inventory? Like, what's the... Because most of their other stuff usually sits on the shelf for a while. Mm -hmm. So are they kind of hoping these sell out so that it kind of overcompensates for the things that sit for a while? Or would they also like there to be enough supply there to where there's generally stuff sitting on shelves? Um, no, I, I think that they would like to have turtles stuff sold out and then their other, you know, sort of evergreen products that seem to be constant, a constant, mm -hmm. you know, I think they're happy with that. I think they're happy with the turtles selling out fast. They know it. There's not mm -hmm. much, you know, there's very little that actually sits of the, of their turtles. Yeah, it's true. Um, but but like you said, you can go to any Target at any time, most Walmarts now, and you'll see the section that's with Godzilla, and they don't even have the Godzilla license anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, the uh, Gremlins, Ultimates, um, you know, Michael Myers, and all the, you know, the rest of the rogues gallery of horror. I yep. think they're good with that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, see, well, it, it's based on results. Mm-hmm what you think is a hundred percent right. Right. Cause that's what it's been. <laughs> yeah. So. And, it, and no matter like if you go to the same target and you see that same supply of, you know, all the stuff, non turtles that mm -hmm. I just mentioned, you could go back three, you know, three weeks in a row, <laughs> see the same ones. And then like on that fourth week, three things will be gone. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, the stuff just sells. It's just kind of like just shelf inventory to sit there and it'll sell when it sells. Yeah. But the turtle stuff, when they release it, it's like printing money for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's uh, that's your show beats. You put those in the front for the, <laughs> to lure people in to buy them. Um, <laughs> office reference. Um, <laughs> uh pd says don't give up on the hunt you'll find it eventually i will say if you if you go pretty regularly usually and you'll you'll get it maybe not the first wave but eventually hopefully uh you'll be able to get it um pops actor uh, has a uh, as a kid i had a choice of toy Story, toys r us to buy my mo2 toys great days back in the 80s indeed now we've got target and walmart and more often than not it's more of <laughs> um, Unagi Rosa saw nothing for a year at Target and I'm giving up on Toon Turtles. I recently did go to my local Target and found they had six or seven boxes of them, the newer ones. Still a pass, though. And, you know, I think that's, you know, makes more sense because they're getting into more of these, you know, outer edge characters mm -hmm. that aren't kind of the main core characters that people care about. And those are going to sit a little bit longer. But even those sell, like uh, the Triceraton dudes. Um, they'll sit a little while, but eventually they'll go. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Um, T Ponder says, "Hey, at least NECA is better at stocking shelves than PlayStation." Ain't that the truth, T Ponder? <laughs> Ain't that the truth? I really wanted to get a PlayStation to play the MLB the show, and mm -hmm. it's I haven't found one yet. Uh, Fish Tropper Tropic says, "Low blow, T Ponder." <laughs> oh man. Uh, old school show these companies trade on the promise that some of these releases will be scarce and therefore more collectible. It's true. Uh, it's a good point. Old school. Riley Bob, I don't get why NECA reps don't come around regularly. Yeah, sure. Stock and stock. When they notice less demand, make less stock, put in different stores. But I do, I, I, I think John's point and even to old schools here, they probably have things they want just have evergreen, you know, so that the, thing, that the shelves are full and it's not just bare. Because mm -hmm. uh, eventually those things do sell. Um, and you know, that's, they've kind of, they found, they've struck that balance and they're sticking to it. Um, yep. Uh, Jay Gers, maybe they should pull a Mattel and keep the turtles in every wave, but is that a good idea? <laughs> <laughs> that a good idea. I don't know. But they've, they've kind of done the turtles now a few times and, and they've repacked them. And then I think the cool thing about these turtles in the skies is actually a pretty good likeness of the turtles. My big beef with the tune line was always the turtles didn't look great. They didn't mm -hmm. look like cartoon turtles. Um, and now it's seemingly these turtles in the skies sculpts nail it. Um, but I, I agree with you, John. They're going to release more packs and 
yeah. repackage these sculpts without the disguises and there's going to be plenty of opportunities for these things mm -hmm. no way they don't do it i love that i saw a ghostbuster kenny classics classic winston at a walmart employee took three and that was suspicious so wah, wah, wah. i'm <laughs> I, I you know it's been kind of neat the kenner classics line is kind of an evergreen now like i i go to walmart's usually super walmart's and they got a pretty solid Ghostbuster sec section, you know, the mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yep. Um, and they'll sell through, but they, they kind of have something there. Um, so it makes me really hopeful that the Ecto-1, we know Fearsome Flesh is going to be there all day, every day. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm worried Fearsome Flesh is going to kill the land. Yes. Um, but <laughs> as long as they make enough Ecto-1s, I think we'll be okay. We'll see. We'll see. They need to put the, the Fearsome Flushes up by the registers. Cause that's, that's such kid bait. It's, it's it big is. time. You know, I need this cause it's a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, anywho, uh, fish Trapper says I've showed up a few times and literally took product out of employees hands. Good for you. Fish traffic. Um, uh, for Riley Bob playmates do it right. Just really re-release the turtles every other month, weekends and weekday. <laughs> <laughs> oh man the trash though oh man that movie set so bad so so bad uh now says, did you guys hear that the motu rise of power target exclusive hit shelves today that dude probably snagged them all mm -hmm. at the store. uh yes uh i went to my target day they were not at my target but i assume they'll show up eventually um t bonder says i have a fearsome flesh shirt there you go that's how to make it uh about uh playstation uh, tried every local store to get a PS4 controller and 30 miles of me. None had an order from PlayStation Alliance, so that's a bummer. Uh, and Jacob says, and don't forget that Target matches the price of every store. Boom, there you go. We have, what, Jacob Jacob works for Target, so we've got a, we've got a rep from Target. All right. <laughs> All right, so there you go. That's it. Uh, final thoughts here, John. So it seems like NECA does, may, can tweak a little, a few things here to maybe make it mm -hmm. a little bit more equitable for yeah. collectors yeah but are we saying on the whole they just don't care enough to actually like i don't know like it, what more can they do than they're already doing and do they not want to right i see it as you know the neca people maybe have a meeting with their reps every few months you know who knows and when they kind of get signed on as a rep for for them do they get the rules and then the rules just kind of loosen over time? Because if they're just reps and going stock in the shelves, they really have no supervisor looking at them all the yeah. time. They're just a traveling rep store yep. to store. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, you know, I've been doing it long enough. Yep. I don't, I don't need to follow the rules. Yeah. And fish Harper says, you think it's just NECA? Um, no, no. But the difference for NECA compared to say, you know, GI Joe classified series. Hasbro like sends it to uh, target and they're like, Hands are clean. I don't give a crap what you do. Well, aside from probably where they place it. But um, this, the NECA rep is the one that puts it out. You cannot mm -hmm. get it until it could be sitting in the back. Doesn't matter. You cannot get it until that NECA rep shows up and puts it on the shelf. I think that's the, that's the main difference here for these NECA toys that kind of changes the approach or the, our responses to it. Right. <laughs> Pop actor, I saw a shoplifter shoving a battle cap box in his pants. How dare he steal the Motu collection? <laughs> uh, why steal it? There's plenty of them. Yeah, but there's hey, tons, uh, <laughs> tons. My Walmart has 14 right now. Same 14 they've had for three months. <laughs> uh, J Mac, uh, similarly, uh, I work at Walmart sadly and have had first dibs on Motu Origins, He Man, and Skeletor for months. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Noggy Roll, is that a battle cat in your pants? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> um, Fish Shopper has another good point. Ca cards, baseball cards, Pokemon cards mm -hmm. have gone insane in the since the pandemic or something. What has happened with cards? Like, what is going on? I have no idea. Like those Marvel Universe cards. Yeah, they, it's it's out of control. Like what? What is going it's, on? It was those were like overnight, like the GameStop thing. Yeah, it was like all of a sudden, like did it? What did we miss about card <laughs> people in the like? I I don't. I'm so far removed from a card circle at all. I have no yeah. idea. I saw somebody post on one of our local toy groups 
you know, a binder of the first wave of those Marvel cards completely. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll take your stimulus pay check for this binder. And someone took them up on it. Yeah. It was like all three, like all three series or whatever, but it was like a complete set. Yeah. I, I, I saw the same post. Okay. You saw it. Yep. And I'm like, what? Yeah. Cause people were saying like how much for the set. And he was like, your stimulus check. Everybody got the same amount. Yep. <laughs> like what? Yeah. Like you said, somebody took them up on fast. It. Yeah. It was a good price. I think, I think it was, it was much less than what they go for. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because I I'm a baseball. We're both baseball fans, mm -hmm. um, and you know, having young kids now, it's like okay, let's you know. I think last season or the season before, with Zach started doing the let's get some baseball card packs and we'll open them up, and you have your favorite players, I have my favorite players, and you know, let's it's like it's a fun thing to do of like collecting baseball cards, and um, and so this season, like I was like, all right, let's try and get some baseball cards. I haven't, I can't find the base the, the this season tops cards anywhere. Mm -mm. And apparently people line up on card day. They line in front of, of uh, target. Yeah. You're gone. Mm -hmm. I was, I was at Walmart and you know how they have like the cards it's in like with the registers, like in that mm -hmm. line. Yeah. And people just waited there, like in that little aisle. Yeah. They were there when I got, you know, walked in the store, they were still there when I walked out the card, you know, stalker hadn't showed up yet. And, you know, how long do you wait there? And, you know, if they have one box, that first guy in line is the one that's going to get it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I don't... They're putting limits on like I, I see some more signs in the card section saying limit one per person, yada, yada, yada. Um, yeah, my Walmart put up a sign. All it says is no returns on cards, mm -hmm. but there's no limit. Interesting. It's crazy. Riley Bob says, does hardcore collecting go away when the world goes back to normal? That's the question. Does this bubble burst? Yeah, it's it's obviously this. It ha It's the only thing that makes sense that mm -hmm. some of these kind of crazy, especially these cards, has been instigated by the pandemic and just a complete shift in our daily lives. But it's just it's weird. Like, I don't get it, though. I still don't get. And then old school says it well. This card craze makes as much sense to me as Dogecoin. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. Like I, I try to make sense of you know investments and stuff like that. To be <laughs> smart. And I have no idea why th what's going on with Dogecoin. It doesn't make any sense. It makes mm -hmm. sense to no one. All because um, what's his name? Elon Musk tweets about it. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I'm not going to complain because I did buy some like two years ago. Like, you know, it was like a suggestion thing on like my feed, you know, like buy this thing that was created as a joke. So, yes. Okay. So now, John, what am I, I see. Are you going to be driving a Tesla? Uh, up the... <laughs> no. Well, maybe if it goes over a dollar by 2021, like or 2022, like they say. <laughs> um. Anywho, uh, baseball is not that hard to get a hold of around here. Basketball, football is insane. That's nuts. Uh, Magic has been like I, again. I I love Magic the Gathering. I I've had to quit Magic the Gathering multiple times because I get into that habit of just like buying boxes and just opening them. And again, I have a problem. <laughs> uh, so uh, Magic the Gathering, it's a game, and I love playing games. And it's one where you can get a leg up if you get certain cards. So mm -hmm. you have to go buy these cards or cases to get cards. It's a dangerous, slippery slope. <laughs> and I quit. I quit four, five, maybe six, seven years ago at this point. I, I generally quit every now and then. And then some new friend comes like, hey, you want to play Magic? I was like, oh, I haven't played Magic in years. But I was like, oh, sure, I'll play. And then it's just get that hit and i'm like <laughs> all of a sudden i have all these boxes and packs and opening them up and i look at myself in the mirror i'm like what have you done <laughs> what have you done <laughs> when was the last time you played magic yeah uh it's i think it's been it's been at least seven or seven or eight years and I, again i went all hard in again doing tournaments buying boxes and um and then just very quick i was like i gotta stop I gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> gotta stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> exactly. A, a shiny foil mystic archive. Like again, yeah. I've 
I ride that high, man. I ride that uh, legendary rare high. Um, but uh, but yeah. So, anyways, it's just weird. Collecting is weird, as as are a lot of things. But yeah, the cards especially make it super weird. Super super weird. All right. Let's go through the rest of the news. Uh, a lot of stuff came out last week along with the Hasbro PulseCon stuff. So I do want to make sure uh, we check in on those things. Uh, first up here, Buzzsaw Hordak. We got our in-picture images of this deluxe version of Bu Buzzsaw Hordak. Um, John, what were your thoughts here on uh, these images? It was kind of... Oh, it's gonna be. Hold on, I have to screen cap this so we can look at it bigger. But what are your thoughts here, based on our in package uh, images here? Um, well, first, I'm surprised that the deluxe figure was going to be Buzzsaw Hordak and not Hurricane Hordak. Agreed. Um, I mean, it looks good. Hordak is one of my favorite characters. Mm -hmm. It's cool. He has two different Buzzsaws. It looks like, or is that? one that snaps together it's hard to tell i oh, know it does look like two two different ones mm -hmm. two different ones two different heads one looks like he's got a bit of a grin yep i like that you know yeah, with grins <laughs> i'm excited hand. i'm excited for this guy is an extra hand yep looks like yeah it's an extra hand but um for, for what i don't know <laughs> <laughs> because i guess one hand is open so you're gonna get two fisted hands essentially oh if you wanted to yeah, I mean, I like it, um, but I guess I'm kind of bummed it is Buzzsaw Hordak because yep. it looks just like the normal Hordak except of the kind of opening chest feature. Mm -hmm. And I agree with you. I would have much rather have had Hurricane Hordak. Yeah. Also a deluxe figure mm -hmm. in the packaging. Um, and again, you did this one. So around the or, you know, I guess relative to the same year, you're going to have the normal Hordak release. Mm -hmm. to yeah. me, it, it's it's a lot of hordak for no other horde members yet exactly and to me it would have made far more sense to go hurricane hordak as the next one mm -hmm. and then you do this one maybe a, a year or two later when the original hordak hasn't been around for a while maybe it gets a little rare or something maybe it goes mm -hmm. up a little bit in secondary prices then you do this one. So then you have for those people that may missed out on the it's way is it wave three or four? Uh wave four, I think, for Hordak. Wave four, yep. And for those that missed out on the regular version of Hordak, get a second chance with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it looks just like it, pretty much. Yeah. Um, the other thing that's a kind of a bummer is the you know the original buzzsaw hordak was on a regular size card it wasn't on a deluxe card you're right you're right and i don't think that the buzzsaw action actually ever worked mm -hmm. like it <laughs> like i don't know i it just kind of fell out you know so it's supposed to be an action feature i'm assuming this one works much better but mm -hmm. I hope they don't waste this as if what's supposed to be an action feature, but it actually doesn't really work. I hope they're not wasting this on a deluxe figure skew. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. if this buzzsaw and even the classics version, the buzzsaw just sits in his chest <laughs> and the door opens. Yeah. If we're, if that's the same case with this one, it's a total waste of a, of a deluxe skew. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I don't disagree, but Hey, look at the, the, the great artwork. <laughs> By Francisco and Axel. Yep. Shows the buzzsaw spinning out of his chest. <laughs> well, you know it's legit. Yes. I hope so. I really hope I it hope is. So I hope so too. I think um again, it looks great. I I you know, um, I think the extra head's great. I, I love how these deluxe ones are coming with all these extra accessories and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. Uh, the action figure feature was never that great. It wasn't a deluxe figure in the original line. And you had a deluxe Hordak you could have went with that would have looked a little bit different. Yep. Um, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Any mo new Mo2 is good Mo2. Uh, but, uh, but I do think we could have had a better, um, better one there. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, Chris Trapper says, uh, I don't need them. Uh, Darth Theron says, at least later in the year. I uh, just got the normal Hordak. Hardak, Hordak. <laughs> um, 
uh, all music fan says, wish they would have at least packaged the can arm instead of the new white ho- of the white horde crossbow. Agreed. Give the can arm like mm-hmm. it's, just, it's a little little too the same, a little too much of the same. Um, anywho, uh, all right, let's move along here. To the next bit of news doop, 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 from this past week. Here we go. All right, uh, Diamond Select Toys. We talked about this briefly. We're both big Cobra Kai fans, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, it's Diamond Select, so these head sculpts are going to be trash. <laughs> yeah, big swing and a miss. <laughs> yeah, we have closer pictures here. Let's see. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Um, yeah. Woof. Ugh, no, and these are supposed to be Cobra Kai. Yes, right. Yeah. It's not. It's not uh, under the Karate Kid moniker. No, no. And oh my God, they look terrible. They do. I need to put a new clip. And now I just realized I need to put a new clip. And it's from Home Alone. It's like Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. Woof. <laughs> and it's, it's like, so and that's one of my favorite parts of that movie. <laughs> uh, uh, have you seen the uh, Angry Video Game Nerd? Uh, reviewing the Home Alone games and Macaulay Culkin shows up. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a good episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that, that's going to be a pass for me. I love Cobra Kai. I hope somebody else takes the license and does a better job with the head sculpts. Yep. I'm surprised NECA didn't get that. Um, yeah, that seems like right up NECA's alley. They've yeah, done the, they did Karate Kid. They did Karate Kid, yeah. Uh, <laughs> old school Shinobi says it best. Diamond Select making toys like it's 2005. Yep. <laughs> that's, that's that's you cannot that's there's no better quote to, to say how Diamond Select toys uh, is doing. Uh, these look good from a distance. Yeah, if you're like squinting your eyes, mm-hmm. if you're watching at home right now, just squint your eyes. Yep. Yeah, those those look right. good. Could be could be Ralph Macchio's body, not his head. <laughs> <laughs> Louis says, uh, the, uh, those proportions are horrible. It looks like Gumby dressed as Cobra Kai characters. <laughs> Ooh, Diamond Select is rough, rough indeed. Uh, and Lolo Pap says it well. <laughs> Put the karate kid figures in a body bag. Uh, yep. All right, moving on. Uh, new hot toys, Ahsoka, Tano, and Grogu. So we have uh, now the official Ahsoka Tano, uh, as portrayed by, why am I back on her name? Rosario, Rosario Dawson. Uh, and it looks great. I think it looks fantastic. It, um, yeah. If if the final comes out this, this good, it's a, that's a good looking figure. Yeah. And I hope I hope there's maybe little wires or something in the in her kind of cloak so that it can you can kind of position it like that, like it's blowing in the wind. Yep. I um, imagine it is. I bet it's a wired um right? robe. You would want to be able to pose it like that with the uh, mm-hmm. with a kind of swept like that. Um so it looks great. I have the Clone Wars Deco Ahsoka on pre-order. That's still my favorite look of Ahsoka period out of all of her looks. So I'm sticking with that one. Um, but this one looks really, really good. I, I, I do dig it. But I am going to pass on this one again as I, I went for the Clone Wars, the end of Clone Wars, uh, the final se- season seven uh, mm. Siege of Mandalore look for Ahsoka, which is my favorite look of that. Uh, but still great set and you get a Grogu uh, to go along with it. So pretty good set. Uh, if you're if you haven't gotten one yet, yep, and they you can get them separately too if you don't want uh Grogu with her. Yep, uh, Riley Bob, once again, Hot Toys trying to lure me into collecting Hot Toys with this amazing Ahsoka. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. I mean, they're always they're always great. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, let's see, that is an amazing figure. Agreed, it looks amazing. Um, uh, and if you haven't gotten one yet generally it's very rarely rarely is a dud they look that amazing in person yep um they just do it it's it's sorcery whatever they do over it it (laughs) uh we got more neca tunes 
And luckily, these you can pre-order on NECAToys.com or NECAOnline.com uh, right now, I think, actually. Uh, so they have the pizza monster uh, so that you can pre-order, I think. Can you still order it? Yeah, it looks like you can. Um, so if you need to get, I guess there was three in the episode, right? So you can, a lot of people are buying three of them. Uh, but yeah, so you can get the uh, Rat King and Vernon 2 pack, the uh, Ultimate Pizza Monster, um, uh, these, let's see, who are we got? The, the little Robot 3 pack, the Splinter, which those pretty easy to find at Target, these Triceraton uh, characters, um, and then this new one uh, with the Ace, Duck, and Mutagen Man. Now, <laughs> uh, I know this is how Mutagen Man looks in the cartoon. Mm -hmm. But this is why I generally prefer the toy versions of the characters anyway, because you can't tell me you want that after after having this. No, like it's not. It's no contest. It's not even. I it, don't. I don't remember him being so short in the cartoon. I, I I haven't seen that episode since I was a kid, so I don't know. I would guess he is that short if they scaled him that way, right? Yeah, but the even his figure, like the vintage figure, was. As tall or just a little bit taller than the turtles. Yep. I mean, unless Ace Duck is like eight feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a duck. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, you know, the, the Super 7s, uh, that's where, again, I, I'm on Super 7 more just because it's after the toys. The toys is what, you know, I spent the most time with as a kid. Mm -hmm. As much as I watched the cartoon, the toys are where I really spent my time with the turtles and the, the first couple movies. Um, so it just does not look good, but again, it's cool. I love uh, Ace Duck. Um, I still have mine from when I was a kid. It, this looks pretty darn close to the the toy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. Uh, so I'll be curious to see how you know if when if hopefully if Super Seven or whenever Super Seven does get to uh, Ace Duck, um, see how it looks. So, um, so there's that. You can order these online, which is nice. This bit of news had me really pumped. So the Mattel's Jurassic Park or Jurassic World Legacy Collection, they're finally doing the Jungle Explorer as a big set with a T-Rex and Timmy and the Ford Explorer. Really pumped for this one. I love the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. My kids love the Jurassic World Legacy Collection. Um and my favorite vehicle, even since I was a little kid, seeing this movie in the theaters. All right, I wasn't like a little kid, but I saw it in theaters. <laughs> I freaking love the design of this Ford Explorer. I would get a Ford Explorer today, one of these old ones, and do it up like this. I thought it was so cool. I would have the window on the top and a TV screen in it. It just, I don't know, blew my mind. Um, this, was, this was one of your top wants. It was. Your, on your want list. It was. At the beginning of the year. It was a hundred percent. I love the design of this car. It just looks so cool. It's so nineties. This is such an essential part of Jurassic park. And we have not gotten a toy version of this car since that Kenner one over 25 years ago. Wow. Which is crazy. It is. About it. Yeah, considering so, how much Jurassic Park stuff has been out. Yeah. So that's great. I, I'm really pumped. Really pumped for this. Uh, <laughs> Darthurian, the T-Rex just wants the chewy Timmy roll center. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, um, is it a colossal size T-Rex? This is the first time I've seen this. I didn't know about this. Um, It looks, if we're scaling it, uh, I have the one that they said was scaled to the movie. I have it back. Mm -hmm. I can't really see it. It's back there. This one looks a little bit bigger. This one looks about the same size as the Jurassic World one, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is not huge. It's about that big. Um, but so these were, uh, I guess, leaked, not leaked images, but first images from an overseas uh, toy retailer. Yeah. Um. So really pumped for the set. I think the T-Rex looks great too. Like if you're looking at the deco, it's a really good deco. So if you haven't gotten a T-Rex yet, this one looks really good. Um, so 
if you've been sleeping on the Jurassic Park Legacy Collection, this this should wake you up. This should wake you up. Um, <laughs> Jamie Jones, I'm loving the Jurassic Park stuff. They say, yeah, they're doing great stuff. Uh, make the Jurassic Park toy line remote control. Oh, that'd be cool. Hey, listen, after seeing that uh, that Optimus Prime mm -hmm. last week, I want robot everything. Yep. All toys need to do what that Optimus Prime did and does, or I'm walking. <laughs> that T-Rex needs to, you know, nudge the Explorer over with his nose and then take the kids out of it. <laughs> Uh, I have the Ian Malcolm from this line. I was a little underwhelmed. I might have to pick this up. Yeah, I mean, they're three and three quarter inch figures. They're not the most, like, they're okay. They're close. Mm -hmm. But to me, it's the dinosaurs and the vehicles have been really, really good. Um, and in, in this case, three and three quarter is always kind of in service to the vehicles and beasts in this scale. And for that, the vehicles and, and beasts have been really good. Mm -hmm. um, I think of note, too, just remember with the, the Legacy Collection line, it is run by Matchbox within Mattel, so it's not a like a full fledged Mattel line. So just something to keep in note: their strength is going to be in the vehicles, obviously, and they've done a really good job with the 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 monsters because like Hasbro had it for years. Uh, they I thought they did pretty darn good with the Kenner stuff, mm -hmm. and then you know it just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, and it was terrible for their first run at the Jurassic World figures. Colors were way off. They just looked bad. Um, and since Mattel has taken it on, they've done a fantastic job with the Jurassic World production. Um, T. Ponder says, I really want NECA to make an Al figure. It's right there, Allie. <laughs> John, you're a big uh, Al figure. I know. I am. I am. I am waiting for that day. It's got to happen. It has to happen. Um, and I will have multiples. <laughs> 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 it will be mine. Oh, yes, it will be. <laughs> uh, Jacob says, did you see the coolest Transformer? Optimus Prime self-transforming talking. Yep, uh, that's what we were just mm -hmm. talking about. Dartherian, yeah, auto-transforming Unicron. It needs to be auto-trans. Again, every Transformer from this point on, if it's not auto-transforming, I don't want it. <laughs> 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 Inaugural HasLab Alf. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. The, uh, but they tried that with Cookie Monster, and it, it just right. didn't happen. Well, you want to know why? Because the Cookie Monster didn't talk and stuff. By yep. It was just a static. It wasn't even a puppet. They should have at least made it a puppet. Or a suit. A suit. <laughs> 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 ah. Oh, my God. All right. And yes, last big bit of news today. The Masters of the Universe uh, Rise of Evil exclusive two-pack to Target, uh, I, I guess, went live today. Uh, on toy shelves and and maybe it was available online but i i missed that opportunity um but uh it is live today people have gotten them in hand i've seen it in collector groups um that it is in fact live and out there today so uh happy hunting on that front we have talked about before um but really pumped for this set because uh Keldor had a bit of a week because this is coming out this week and then Mondo is doing that exclusive Keldor uh, like 12 inch figure. Yeah. And I think that sold out too because that was lim super limited. It was. It was. It was great. Um, but really pumped for this set mainly for that Alcala head sculpt yep. for the Skeletor. That is my Skeletor. And uh, but still, set looks great. Um, and, and both John and I have said it. We hope this is like a lot of target exclusives, like say from legends and stuff like that, where, uh, the, hopefully they have a lot of them and it's yeah. not, it's not hard. Yeah. To, people will go nuts for them in the beginning. And then all of a sudden there's like a full end cap mm -hmm. for a month. <laughs> Fingers crossed. That is the case with these. Please, please Mattel. I hope you made a lot of these. I hope you made a lot of them. I'm going to want one loose and to keep in the box like that. Yes. Though. The art is fantastic. Yes. Looks good. Um, Kronos, Kronos looks awesome. Agreed. Um, love Kronos too. Like again, it's, it's kind of like Kronos looks like a great figure and it's the one, you know, I mean like thinking about that much, you know, like right. how good this set is. <laughs> how good this set is. Um, probably like, damn target. They're selling Keldor. <laughs> <laughs> all music fan out dollar receipt but so nice to see um again fingers crossed fingers crossed this one is easy to find please please other than the case uh 
Otherwise, we'll all be sitting there with the empty shelf going. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Uh, Tyler, don't look this set up on eBay. Well, Tyler, now I got to look it up on eBay. This is your fault. We're going to look it up on eBay. All right, let's see. Uh, What's it going for? I'm going to guess. I'm gonna guess two fifty. So you're almost. Uh, what is that times? Ten hundred percent? No, that's more than hundred percent. That's like three hundred percent increase. Yeah, something like that. All right, let's see. Let's go to the Evil Bay. I should say uh, Keldor. What? How much? Oh, 320. Oh man, what are uh what are any completed? Yeah, hold on. Let me just I'm gonna wow. Yeah, let's hold on. What this one's being bid at 251. Oh my god, people. I still have six days left. What for a thirty dollar set? Everyone needs to calm down. Yeah. Everyone what? on here that's buying it at these ridiculous prices is making it worse for the rest of us. Just wait it out. Wait yeah. it out, people. Again, I could say pay double if you just don't want to stress about it, but don't pay <laughs> more than that. Holy moly. That's insane. Why is this not showing me? I did the sold. Is it going to kind of go? Wow. Okay. That, that's um, that's ridiculous. That's insane. What? No way. Wow. Um, let me see if I want to try and get to completed here. I'll try. <laughs> Sorry. See if that but holy moly, that's insane. I uh, it's just gonna get worse. Yeah, that's that's nuts. Uh, Motu Origins, Origins Rise of Evil. Wow. Uh, let's go to sold. Let's see. But it's it's if it, if they're listing it at three fifty. Wow. Uh, two fifty five, two eighty five. Oh, uh, just two. Well, just it just hit today. It just started like in hand today. <laughs> that Holy is moly. Unbelievable. That's, Don't do it, people. Don't do it. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Um, yeah, that's all I gotta say is wow. Wow. That's insane. <laughs> Nearly three hundred dollars. Woo! Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's retailing for 29 bucks. I, my my thing is that, like don't pay more than double. No. Mm-mm. Wait it out. Wait this one out. I I I highly doubt it's going to stay at that. I highly doubt. Yeah, it's it's going to drop in two days. I bet it'll be cut in half, and it'll just keep on going down. Yeah. Because okay. you know th- there's going to be a glut of them on on eBay. <sighs> Man. All music, those are Motu Classics prices indeed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy moly. All right. Whew. Let's uh, <laughs> take that off. Uh, all right. Uh, John, let's close out the show with our recent toy hauls. We're flipping the script today. I kind of like flipping the script a little bit, starting with the main topic. And- yeah. Yeah. Um, let's try that again. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, do you want to go first or you want me to go first? Um, I'll go first. That's cool. Cool. All right. Yeah. Yours is kind of in theme. So, all right. So, uh, well, first up, just a little quick, quick one. Okay. I picked up the McFarlane designed Batman. Oh, nice. Okay. I saw that at my target. How is it in person? I almost bought it and I was like, ah, I don't know if I need another Batman. Is this it is... like a must buy? Yes. Yes. yes? Okay. okay. So, up until this one, the Thomas Wayne 
the red and you know red black and gray mm -hmm. has been my favorite um just like sort of straight up batman mm -hmm. now it's the mcfarland one wow and i will say i i was like nothing but reservations on this figure mm -hmm. um when they did the gold gold um collection or whatever it was mm -hmm. first because that was the batman that had goggles yep and then it was um it was just black and gray yep but this one is you know it's blue and gray with like the gold mm -hmm. in it mm -hmm. oh man i really really dig it i'm so right. happy that i bought it there was like four or five on the shelf so maybe i'll go get it tomorrow it's really good um that is good uh just a couple of people are like no mention of the super seven glow in the dark mutant man it looks great uh are you gonna get it john i'm kind of on the fence if i should get it or not nope i may pass as well because i got the glow in the dark baxter stockman <clears throat> and it's cool but it's kind of redundant once you have the regular baxter stockman yeah that's kind of my feeling for the mutant man too it's neat but i don't think i need it right it's neat but i don't need it i know i don't need it <laughs> um also asking where's the stump john segment we might not have enough might not have enough time for some time i have to save for next week we'll see where we are because we're already over time um all right so great first pick all right so oh, john questions here it will be one <laughs> we'll, we'll, yeah, the end. we'll say right. we'll one to stump john at the end but go ahead. yeah all right so if you want to throw up that picture okay um i got this masters classics collection Woo! oh wait let me i made oh. you big let me go let's go little let's share a screen again so to look good and big <laughs> all right there we go making people jealous yep. tonight, john <laughs> and this was a this was a local buy and this guy bought this stuff for his kids he got him <laughs> into the cartoon in 2009 when this line started that's insane and and he didn't know about the toy line coming out he just got him into the cartoon sure so then like you know he looked up he-man figures uh-huh and then sure enough he's seen oh there's these new ones that look just like the old ones, but they're better. So he just bought them on Maddie as they came out, you know? Yeah. It, and pick the ones that he wanted to get. Mm -hmm. So some of them are super paint scuffed because they were played with. Yeah. So these are like kids. Actually, these yep. were kids toys, which is insane. It's, it's like, it's like getting a kid, a Porsche as his first pedal car or something. <laughs> right. it's not that extreme, but it's kind yes. of like that. I know it. Right. <laughs> but how awesome like this was you know it was like a, a brother and sister you know their he-man collection like this yeah. is what they played with it's like the equivalent of our he-man toys for I them know. like that <laughs> and again <laughs> the fact that these were like kids those kids they have no idea how lucky they were to be oh like, no as their toys mm -hmm. nope but we can appreciate it because holy moly that is a haul, John. Um, but I can tell they've been playing with like, look at the Moss Man. Looks like his his flocking is. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> there's quite a bit missing. <laughs> <laughs> but, but still, a really, really yeah, cool and, collection. And they're cleaning up pretty good. The the paint scuffs actually come off pretty good with um, baking soda, baking oh, okay. soda and water. Yeah. Okay. All right. So when I met this guy, um, I met him at a Walmart parking lot. Mm -hmm. he um, brought his kids star Wars collection as well. Um, so I hadn't seen pictures of that or anything, Yeah, but he said that he bought most of it like on eBay or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it turned out to be mostly nineties stuff. So uh -huh. it was before his kids were even born. Sure. But there's actually some pretty good gems in there. Um, so there was two power of the Jedi tie interceptors. Oh, nice. And they're both complete. They look like, they didn't really get played with the, yeah. the Star Wars stuff. Um, yeah, so there's two of these. I got a, another Bantha. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had the um, like the voice controlled uh, R2. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So that's about all I've gone through so far because there's like 300 plus figures, um, a bunch more ships and vehicles, all kinds of stuff. This is just some of the things I pulled out. Yeah, yeah. For the nice. haul. Nicely done. Well, it's, it's good to see that 2021 
the street continues yeah up some good stuff people are blown away by the hall <laughs> a lot of expletives <laughs> Uh ah oh, damn <laughs> little school Shinobi <laughs> Riley Bob damn now that's a haul um uh BMM eighty four rich kids yeah I, that's that's some rich kids mm -hmm. right there uh classic action figures I'm glad actual kids play these series again it's it's really cool you know because a lot of them uh, I would say maybe two percent of these actually were played with by kids right because most of these probably went on collector shelves yeah two percent um, by kids ten percent by men yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man all right uh people are asking now how much do you feel comfortable sharing <sighs> this all uh set you back um i'll, I'll just say it was like around a thousand bucks that's pretty good because what would you say it's worth? Maybe two grand, three grand. Um, how many figures is that? I didn't even really count. I just kind of laid them out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven by one, two, three, four, five, six. So was it sixty something? Sixty six. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, plus like there's a two cowls and a looky, Madame Raz and Broom. Yep. Um so yeah, if I paid for I mean for them like ten bucks a piece. And then mm -hmm. I paid less less than the remainder for the Star Wars. That's a that is a darn good pickup. Very nice. Very nice. Um all right, well, I have to follow that up. I would <laughs> first. It's not going to be as good as that. Um, well, first up, if you follow me on Instagram and followed my stories last weekend, uh, went to Chromag Toys, and I have most every mask vehicle that I could want, but there was one that I didn't have that I did want, but I wanted it to be a nice one. I never found one. Well, they had... A really nice hurricane in the shop, complete all the chromes there. It all works. And uh, if you watch Screen Geeks, this is Ralph's favorite toy. I think <laughs> there's a kid. Um, no, I think the the small Millennium Falcon from Kenner is his number one. This is probably number two. Uh, but anyway, so really pumped to add this one. And I think I think that completes my mass collection for me. I don't think there's not another vehicle that i want i have ha i have every other one um that i could want from this line so this was a really fun pickup last weekend that completed for me my mask collection um so really pumped about that and if you want to see what my mask collection is you can watch both of my toy room tour videos uh because i i show uh the boulder hill set and all that kind of stuff on the toy room uh playset wall so that was last week this week Finally found some of those uh, those Kenner Marvel oh, nice. toys. Uh, so I got Cap, I got Hulk, and I got Spider-Man. I plan on doing a video review of these, mainly to make my argument more succinctly or, or just separately about these should really be superpower scaled. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to make that argument without having them in hand, so I will open these up and I'll see if I still believe in that argument once I have these open and in hand. So uh, so excited to finally see these on the shelf. Uh, before, they, I knew they were there, but they got all bought out, um, and all that was left was Electro, and I was like, yeah, I'm good. Um, but uh, for the, some of the main characters, like, all right, I'll pick some of these up and go for that. And then, uh, Preter, pre-Preter, pre-order from Walmart finally paid off. Oh, and it was for Goglins. Oh, they came out. I didn't even yeah. know that. Um, so I pre-ordered uh, Dwork mm -hmm. and uh, King Dwork and King uh, wow. Bob. Uh, and they're awesome. I, they look. Uh, they look just like the originals. It's. It, it, you, I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. Uh, really pumped to have them. Um, 
Uh, so I, I worked on the video today. So I think probably Tuesday is my target date to, to have the review up. Um, but to give the quick look, like that's un that's unbelievable. I I wish I pre-ordered. Like it's so cool. I'm I'm all oh about God. these guys. And and uh, with my my uh, sons or especially Alex, I was you know just like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Where's the candy? <laughs> um, so anyway, these these are great. Um, and you know. My thing is, I uh, I always wanted these as a kid, but never got one. Mm -hmm. And as an adult collector that collects vintage stuff, one, they're expensive. But when I've come across them, the, the original rubber they made them out of, like 30, 40 year old rubber, it's just like I, I would never feel comfortable actually like using it and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff without like breaking it. And so this is perfect. I think it was 39 bucks. And... I got this. Like, I couldn't could not tell the difference between an original Boglin and and this one. And it, mm -hmm. it not only for the puppet itself, but the packaging is dead on. You can you can cut out the bottom so you can control it in the in the plate. <laughs> um, like it's just the perfect, uh, the perfect, I don't know, recreation mm -hmm. of the character and. Um, and again, really, really pumped. It was one of those prayers that I forgot that I did. Um, but now that I've taken them out and put them together and um, really, really dig it. I'll probably get the other one. They've done uh, basically King Drool, King Dwork, and King Vlob. I got Dwork and Vlob. Uh, mainly because I was like, I didn't want to drop like 100 bucks. <laughs> uh, but now maybe I'll, I'll pick up the Drool. Um, and they're going to do the, the Halloween ones as well, I think, a little bit mm -hmm. later. And they'll do more of these. And maybe hopefully do some more new characters and stuff. But oh man, like just so pumped! To, to I'm really it. surprised how fast they they showed up. Because the printers like in April or something. Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. <laughs> wow, that looks amazing. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> really cool. Really pumped to have those. And, uh... and yeah, those are my hauls. Very nice. Some good ones. Whew. Anyways, all right. Let's see. Let's go to normal. Um, let's see. John, Walmart has them on Walmart.com now. I just took thirty nine eighty eight. There you go. Oh, they still uh, have them. Also, uh, our our friends at Chromag Toys uh, have done a pre order, and they will be getting them in in stores. So uh, the company is uh, Try Action Toys. Um, mm -hmm. That's really the only difference here on the box is that it doesn't have Mattel. It's just Traction Toys. But other than that, it's like a dead ringer for an original one, which is awesome. <laughs> really, cool. really pumped. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with them today uh, and uh, pretty pumped for that. So if you haven't, if you've been on the fence, get off the fence. I think you really dig them. <laughs> um, all right, John. I think it's time for at least one Stump John. And I, right. and it, like, T Ponder really wanted me to do it today because he did send in one uh today so let me let me i'll use t ponders here um let's see t ponder save to desktop all right so uh we will do one and let me play the stump john music and now it's time for Stump John, where we try to stump him on his toy knowledge. And now it's time to see if John really knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, uh, All we right. won't we won't do. Oh, T Ponder sent two. Oh, geez, T Ponder. Oh no. Well, I guess I guess we got to do both. Sorry, it was going to be one. Now it's going to be All two. Right. I'll do my best. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, we open that one up too. All right, here we go. Let's start with number one from T Ponder. These are both T Ponder submissions. We have this glow in the dark sword. Supernaturals, the uh, darklings or whatever they're called. Boom. The little ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think. Pr I'm pretty sure you're right, John, but let's. Let's look on the internet and see. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure you're right. 
uh let's see uh you said uh su- it's supernaturals right yeah uh tonka supernaturals it was uh what were they called again the darklings i think they're darklings maybe they were just like short Ooh, little ghost or ghost things. things yeah or ghostlings maybe who ghostlings i think you're right <laughs> I, I i do absolutely yep or yeah. yep that guy the green dude there it is right there. Confirmed. <laughs> nice try, T Ponder. Nice try. All right. Let's uh and if you didn't know, now you know. Um, and then uh let's see uh this last one here. And again, I don't know what these are, so if you don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um but here we go. Looks like a bear trap accessory, a little mm. gun. Yep, don't I have no idea. That's like a bear trap like weapon, like a nunchuck with a bear trap at the end. Yeah. The gun I kind of could would that be the April gun? Not the one that goes into the camera. Yeah, that one. It's not that one. I don't know it's like that. It might be. <laughs> Barbie bear attack playset. <laughs> I don't oh, know what that is, but it looks more like a Bear shot. Burbles trap from Thundercats. Thunder, yeah. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Gummy Bears. <laughs> <laughs> that red thing looks like it's. I mean, I don't think it is, but it looks like it's a Starcom red color. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I can't think of any vehicle it went to. All right. Let's see if we can do some research and see if we can find out. You said Starcom? Yeah, maybe Starcom. It looks like that shade of red. But I don't know about that April gun. Well, I think I'm saying it's Starcom one word, maybe. Yeah, I'll pull it up there. D D D D D. D. Oh, there's card backs. I can't do anything with card backs. <laughs> hmm. So, let's see, you said it was Starcom red. Ooh, that could be right there. Nope, but it it is a very similar red, John. Very similar. Hmm. Let me see. Can you go back to uh, T Ponder's picture? Yep. Hold on. Yep. Stop, stop screen. Share screen. And shared. Oh, no. That's not what I was thinking. Hmm. All right. Um, now, but you're right. It's a very similar color. And it, these little guns and stuff. Could be. Good guess. All right. Let's now look to, I believe, let me go uh, TMNT April 88 complete. (laughs) That's it, isn't it? (laughs) Or no? Mm. Handle has a little hole in it picture a hole where the rain gets in all right so uh we have this right there's that yep and then yeah yeah, it is it yeah hey i got one you got one (laughs) i did it (laughs) i'm almost as good as you john that trap is definitely a weapon like a nunchuck like you said yeah (laughs) It has to be turtles then, right? Um, not necessarily because some of like the toy biz, like big figures like um you know, like Hulk, you know, some of them came with oh like things they would swing right. around like that. The bear trap is from the mask. I wouldn't know that. That's one line, I just don't know. The mask it was Kenner, I believe, right? So let's see. Bear trap. 
See if we can get a dude with a bear trap. <laughs> I don't see one yet. Doesn't mean it can't be. Picture. All right. Well, oh, wait. Wait a second. That gun. Is that the gun? I think that's the gun. That's it. Cyborg mask. That's. Hold on. Uh, cyborg mask. Let's see if we can get a better picture somewhere. That has to be it. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Found it. <laughs> what are the chances of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, if that if the bear trap accessory is from the uh, from mask. Yep. Then, you know, that's maybe how it got together. Um, so there you go. So this little gun is from Cyborg Mask. Uh, this gun is from the 88 TMNT April. And we have not got a confirmation on the bear trap yet, except I believe uh, Jay Griffiths says that is from the mask. Um, have not found a confirmation yet, but I guess we'll assume that Jay is right. He's a much smarter Jay than I. So, <laughs> um, we will go with that. And yeah, I can't. I don't see anything else. But there you go, T Ponder. I think those are pretty good uh, answers there. Boom! It's the first week we got them all. Yeah, I feel good. I feel accomplished. <laughs> That's a good place to stop it tonight, John. All right. Well, uh, there you have it. Toy Geeks back on Sunday nights. Back and better than ever. We tackled the Target employee scalpers. The latest in toy news. We shared our latest toy hauls where John is on a hot streak with that amazing Motu Classics collection. I love the Boglins. Doing the full video later this week, probably on Tuesday. And T Ponder, he's got himself some sweet mask, TMNT, and Supernatural accessories. Thank you, everybody in the chats. Uh, always great hanging out with you. Riley Bob said it best. Everyone have a great week. And go hit that like button. Hit the like button below. It's how people can find uh, this show and join us every week, Sundays at 9 o'clock Eastern time. Old school. It's going to be a good time. Have a great week, y'all. It's always great with all of you. And until next Sunday at 9, hasta luego. Goodbye.